Hey guys, it's Kelp here and I usually make videos to the Brazilian and Portuguese community but I have made on a tier list for them and I was asked to make such video in English so I also took the opportunity to be part of the giveaway they are making through Facebook so here is my tier list from patch 125 Naya and Phoenix won't be here because they just released and People are testing them, so I won't include them here. Before I start, I would like to point two things. The first is tier list is kind of personal, so you may disagree uh, and agree with some choices I, I put here. And the second is that I will analyze the hero individually. The impact that it has on the battle, and it's focused on battles. Arena, tourney, clan wars, and not raid or campaign. So we have tier S, that they are the best heroes in my opinion. And then comes A, B, C and D. Starting with D, we have these heroes that I don't see any utility in a fight. In a composition that they work. And in my opinion they are used only to events. You will need them to get another best heroes and then you will put them aside. So here we have these four demons, Abshound, Infernus, Eraser and Gatekeeper. Maybe Infernus you can use to range a challenge, but that's it. We have Kabuto. Unfortunately my four bugs are crushed, Rise, Ahelia and Shot. Rogar, Taneda, Roland, Hall. But one Kobolds, Grok, Shini, Jag, Kobolok, Truck, and Wimprist. They are so simple and they don't do anything great. So I put them here. Sharazar, Spear, Softy, Sabretooth, uh, Umbroar, and Gassar. These are for me the worst heroes the game has today. I don't see they fitting in a composition, a good composition. And if you use them, probably they're best heroes. Now tier C, we have some heroes that I don't see them being so great, but they are used to fill some compositions and combos, and they are very specific. We have his Terrace, the worst Archon, Aratar, that we can you can use him, but only to fill. A barbarian composition, he isn't that great. Axe Trower, a Tiles, Agnor, Raspit, and Tahit. We have the Pig, we have Tiliana, Eric on Guard, Damio, Velondar, and Trodar. You can use them with Trowrim, but they aren't the base of the, the Tron composition. So I put them at C2. Maglin, Sandario, Otei, Mirdim, Drake and Idril. Drake is kinda good and has his usage with uh, Naya but people are discovering it yet so he has kinda disappointed me. Now tier B. These are the heroes that form a, the base of some compositions, have some impact in, in some fights but they aren't that great like the others that we'll talk about later so let's go and green and hard green they are the bases to the throwing composition and they are kind of good but they need throwing to be good we have blood mage he's used on bomb squad and nuclear squad but I don't see him being used except for this and also the aircon squad we have also shadow Aricon Shadow, also used only to Aricon Squad. We have Cage and Succubus here, such good heroes, but so specific. They have been used more earlier, but now they don't fit so much in this meta. We have also Shard here, he can be used with Abaddon, Elias and Argon. They are good heroes that have been used so much more in the past but now they have lost their space with Hoinar and some Dark Elves and with the Barbarians. We have Mizuhiko and Orihim too, Krona, 
Tsuna. I like her. She may be put here at A, but I don't see her being so powerful like these other heroes at A. Cernwall, uh, Siegfried, we have here also Drevrot and Cathbad. They are good, but nothing that great. Silvermoon, I like her, she can be used with Barbarians, though she isn't that strong like the others. Seven Knives, he is good, he is very good, but he isn't core to a Barbarian team. You can create a good Barbarian team without him, so yeah, he's B in my opinion. Lockyer here, maybe he can be at C, I don't see him being so good, but with Naya and a full Dark Elves composition, he can be useful. Now going to A, we have such strong heroes uh, with great impact in the game and in their composition in the battle, but in my opinion they aren't so game changer like the S1s. So we have here Blood Emperor, Abaddon, Lucky and Sacrif and Azariel, these three awesome healers we have in the game. Mad here too, I really like her individually, she has such powerful and impact. Blara only with Denaya as leader, but she's very good after the heal work. Zitma, the Bomb Squad composition essence. We have also Balthazar, he's kind good too. Wukong, Blood Priest with Zitma in the Bomb Squad, Nuclear Squad. Swamp Killer, she already was very good, but now with the Nea she's even better. She's so fast and attacks so much, and with the Nea's attack buff, she's so powerful. We have also Gloriana, she's so good and has such impact. But she needs some other wild elves, and the wild elves aren't good. So unfortunately, she's here alone. And Rock, he's a good character with bomb and nuclear squads, with also the the beastman. So he's nice. Now going to S, the the most powerful heroes in the game, in my opinion, and most game changer heroes, Artus. When you get him and use him with the Archons, you see how powerful he is. So, an awesome character. Magnus, after he arrives, the meta has changed so much. He can fit in almost every composition in the game. Tyrus, awesome hero to Archons OP. Denaya has changed the meta so much too. And when she is put as leader, she empowers the Barbarians. Swamp Killer, Belara, so she's very very game changer. Throwing he's very good and he made the dwarves good again. The dwarves have been used early in the game, but they are slow and they don't do anything great. And Throwing has empowered them, so you can make a good composition with him and the other dwarves. Especially against Naya and the Dark Elves. And Roinar, he's a a dark elf, but he's used with beastmen, he's used with archons, and he has such great power and impact in the game, especially because he removes buffs in area, and that's very strong. So guys, that's it, that's my tier list, so I hope you have enjoyed and liked it, so like the video, subscribe, and leave the comments down below anything you want, if you disagree, if you agree with something I have said here. So thank you and I hope to see you next time.